here with much props gonna give you another how-to video today we are building something from fear of the walking dead in the spin-off of the walking dead there is a weapon that one of the characters wields that I thought looked super cool and I thought why not try and make it today we are going to build a modified zombie post-apocalyptic stabby thingy. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's get to building. I'm gonna start off trying to build this prop with some very dark screenshots of the weapon, so I kinda had to guess at a little bit of it. I'm sure it's not really that accurate, but it's okay. It's just cosplay. I am using a 2 inch PVC pipe that is cut to around 23 inches long. It's a scrap left over from another prop build. I measured off nine marks for the holes. They're spaced two inches apart from each other from the tip and I put four columns on opposite sides of each other. To drill the holes I used a step drill bit and went down to 11 sixteenths on the pipe basically so that I didn't puncture through and hit my glass table. After I drilled those holes, I then added eight more holes in between each column. These are also spaced two inches apart, just staggered from the original ones. That makes a total of 68 holes on this weapon, which some of them will be cut off here in a second. Once I drill the holes, I then cut the blade edge on the weapon. Be careful while using the cutting wheel on a Dremel. I have several permanent scars on my left hand from where the Dremel has slipped and cut into my hand instead of the product. So you could easily be safer at doing this by clamping it down. I just know that I, I can hold it secure enough if I pay attention and watch what I'm doing.
The end where the weapon broke off in the show of the machine gun was hard to get a good image of. Um, it's usually either really dirty or really dark, so you can't see it very well. So I'm kind of guessing at what it looks like based on one blurry image. I simply cut a 48 millimeter EVA dowel as a plug. Then I then I just used my Dremel and a stone bit to cut the details into it to make it look similar to what I can barely see in this picture. I used some black spray paint as the base to this weapon, a very simple paint job here. The handle has a leather wrap with a strap over it um, so that you can secure your hand into it. I'm using some faux leather that I have. It was cut off of a suitcase that I bought at an estate sale for a dollar. I wrapped this around the pipe to get a measurement of how much I needed. Then I made cuts for it. You'll also see me using a leather lacing stitch punch to make holes for me to sew it together.
For the finishing touches, I added some wax acrylic paint to bring out some weathered details. I also slung some watered down red acrylic paint over it to simulate blood splatter. I did this outside off camera because I don't want red splatter all over my room. People will start to wonder. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, extremely pleased with the way it turned out. It was relatively simple while at the same time it took a bit of time um, drilling all these holes, measuring it out. It's not exactly perfect, but I kind of pieced it together as I went. And it's pretty awesome what you can do with a piece of PVC and some scrap leather. Um, I did kind of hand stitch this together. I'm sure those of you who make leather stuff are probably cringing when I do it, but um, it is relatively sturdy. It, I mean, it's probably not con safe or out in public safe, but it definitely would strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, especially if it was a zombie. Uh, but maybe you will try and make one of these weapons yourselves and impress your friends with your post-apocalyptic ingenuity. So much so that people come to your house when zombies flood the streets. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. I mean, it, it is a weapon, so you, you know it's coming. So, here you go.